with the Friday the 13th Ultimate Edition DVD collection with part 6. Jason lives as the headstone and disco ball lighting hockey mask will tell you. Tommy is still not quite sure that Jason is in fact dead so he brings along one of his friends to dig up the grave and totally not at all give a chance to resurrect Jason. It of course does and Jason is yet again running around ever the killing machine. More counselors come to Camp Crystal Lake, Camp Blood, now Camp Forest Green and some of them are slaughtered. Jason is at this point not human anymore. He is resurrected early on in the film. Won't give you the exact details because it's kinda cool. And nicely they knew what kind of movie they were making at this point. He's not human. He's kind of a super zombie with, you know, supernatural strength. So, it really uses that. He is unbelievably physically powerful in this movie. There's actually a plot for pretty much the first time in this series Tommy is Jason's nemesis and vice versa so throughout the film Tommy is trying desperately to get to Jason and put a stop to him once and for all yes some of the things that slow him down and prevent him are really cliche and really typical of exploitation films from the 80s, but still we have a plot and I'm grateful. The death scenes are numerous, but there's surprisingly little gore. It's usually just sound effects and acting performances that kill them. Yeah. Yeah, that's about as much detail as I should give you on that. There is a pretty solid amount of blood, and some of the kills are, if not creative, at least memorable. The acting is still not all that good, but there are a couple of performances that work out okay. There are these two kids that you keep seeing, you know, that just have one-liner back and forth or something. And they're not too bad. One of them, you know, barely speaks and mostly uses facial expressions, and he's pretty darn good at it. The Jason performance is excellent. We see much more of him now. There's really no real stalking anymore. It's not like, where is he? Is he watching them? No, it's just kind of, oh, there he is. But maybe they haven't seen him yet, or they're getting killed by him. There are, again, a number of fake-outs, and, yeah. I fell for them. I'll admit that. Anyway, on the acting, we again have a pretty clear lead, and I mean, apart from Tommy. And it's not too bad. She's a reasonable enough actress. In general, the acting really isn't all that bad. It is kind of interesting that Tommy has gotten recast. Apparently the old actor was born again. He took one look at the afterbirth and said, I'm not playing a wrestling makeup producing kid anymore, so a new guy got the job and he has an accent. I don't know exactly what... It, Canadian? Maybe? I don't know. But just it's kind of funny. He's also slightly brooding, at least in the opening scene, but he does pretty well. I think Tom Garrett, unless it's pronounced Thom. 
I don't know exactly. But he does pretty well. The pacing is pretty good. I was with this movie pretty much the entire 80 minutes sans credits that it ran. The opening is great. The ending is also pretty good. It's a different kind of climax than we've seen so far. And it works out pretty well. The humor tries a bit too hard, but it also does have its moments. When it isn't overly silly, anyway. That might be more or less what there is to say about the movie. It's maybe my second favorite of the series so far, you know, having only watched these six so far. Well, and Jason X and Freddy vs. Jason, but yeah. Yeah, the third and here the sixth, pretty good. The best overall thus far. Jason is effective without us seeing a lot of gore, and with us seeing him much of the time. You know, whenever... Pretty much whenever he's supposed to be there, you see him a good deal of the time, I'd say. Anyway, that was my spoiler for review of Halloween's Friday 13th, 6th. Jason lives, for no readily apparent reason, as one newspaper review said back then, I think. Hope you enjoyed.